Hello, I'm just here to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Block Party. Air horns. What is Block Party? Block Party is a live drawing show starring Emily Emmy Richu, Adam Something Else YT, James The Odd Ones Out, and me, Illimation. And it is emceed by Pat Graziosi, who is the voice of Life Noggin. <gasps> There's a coyote! Ian, look at the coyote! Oh my god! Wait, where? Do you see it? It's it's on the Illimation here, coming to you live from a street in Burbank. We found corn on the cob in a Ziploc bag. We also found a f***ing coyote crossing the street like a f***ing person. What the f***? I am out here risking my life for block party, so please show up. It's happening November 5th in Los Angeles, California at the Terragram Ballroom. Please come. All ages are welcome to come. Please come. This drawing show depends on your live participation, your drawing ideas, your suggestions. We even need you on stage at some point, so please come. I think the coyote's gone. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Be quiet. All right, if this one goes well, we might come to a city near you. Maybe someplace that doesn't have coyotes walking in the f***ing street. Am I right, Ian? Oh, man, that'd be great. Yep, that'd be great. So check the link in the description to get a ticket before they're all sold out. Or before I get eaten by a coyote. Whichever comes first. Not to flex, but my mom works nights and my dad didn't cook much, so we ate out a lot. And you know what that means. I had my fourth birthday party at McDonald's, and I've been on a lot of fast food playgrounds. The first one I ever went to was at good old McDonald's. It was fairly small, simple, and outdoor. I remember my brother and I would take turns role-playing that scene in The Lion King where Scar kills Mufasa. Alyssa, sister, help me. Long live the king. Uh it got old pretty quick. But a couple of years later, a new McDonald's was built not too far away, and it had a bigger, better, newer outdoor playground. So to make sure my dad would take us there, we would specify we wanted to go to the new McDonald's as opposed to the old McDonald's. This one was a ton of fun to play on, but one hurdle we didn't really expect was the weather. I remember going one night and the slide was still wet from when it rained earlier in the day. My dad was really sympathetic though, like, Aw oh, man, I don't want you guys to get mud on your clothes. Better stay inside. And I remember thinking, yeah, I don't want to get mud on my clothes, but why would he take us out tonight when he knew that it rained today? So he knew the playground would be unplaygroundable. Hmm. I don't know. Bit of a small town mystery. Anyway, a little while after that, a new restaurant opened up in the area, and it was called Chick-fil-A. This was before we knew they donated to anti organizations. So we don't go there anymore. On Tuesday nights, the Chick-fil-A hosted Kids Night. This enticed my dad because not only was the food now cheaper and a little bit healthier than McDonald's, they'd also host some kind of arts and crafts thing too. And lucky for my brother and I, they also had a playground, an indoor playground. But unfortunately for me, I was hitting an early growth spurt and for the one and only time in my life, I was technically too tall for something. The joke is I never grew any taller after that. I still had fun most of the time, but I'd get nervous crawling through the overhangs and going down the slide. And so this was the last fast food playground that I played on. What? That's it? But how could you forget the holy grail of fast food and indoor childhood fun, Charles Entertainment Cheese? Well, that's because my parents took one look at that place and told me it's closed forever. And since I was three and an idiot, I said, Aw, man. That's a long time. That is. Until my friend Jessica had her birthday party there, and I finally had a taste of that sweet, suspiciously shaped cheese pizza. And then I think I peed in the ball pit. Mommy, I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. No, sweetie, it's closed, remember? Nuh-uh. Jessica had her birthday party there. In the end, we still never went to Chuck E. Cheese as a family because we couldn't afford buying all those tokens. So maybe they did have the best indoor playground experience, but I wouldn't know. All I remember is peeing in the ball pit. But if I'm being honest, the top tier, god tier, fast food playground will forever be Burger King. The one I always went to growing up was so big, the playground literally took up half the restaurant. You could see it from the highway. And guess what? It was indoor. And guess what else? You can eat in the playground. You are encouraged. There are tables. This place was an absolute mousetrap for anyone with a child. And I was that filthy rat in the ball pit. 
I still remember the layout. You enter by climbing up these big blue Dorito triangle things, and then you go through an entire maze of tubes, and then there's a bunch of slides to race down, and there's a secret slide to race down, and it was all suspended above the tables. Hi, Dad! Do you know how many times I got my sorry butt stuck up there because some big kid told me the swingy section would break if I crossed it? So many times! Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, uh, breaking news. My mom just told me that I got stuck up there one time, and my dad had to climb up and, quote, fetch me out of there. So thank you, Dad. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. Let me know what your favorite fast food playground was. And as always, stay safe. Get that text. Where's the mic? Right, right here. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know where else it would be, but you want to go down that hallway and see what we can find? No, you're good. Okay. Okay. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, great. He's <laughs> as, wasting. Has it all recorded? He's like wasting valuable tape. No, there's no tape. <laughs> I'm going to use this for the end card, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is my moment of fame. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. He's like, get to business. No. Okay.